Okay, a year eight, the Cartesian plane, part two. Let's have a look at this question here first. Um, so what we've got, complete the table of values for y equals 2x plus 3. I tend to use um, sort of certain information. I don't necessarily substitute. When x equals 0, I know that the constant is always going to be the result. So here, under 0, I've got 3. I then look at this number here, the coefficient of x. This is a, a, a straight line because it fits y equals mx plus c. And that 2 tells me that the gradient is 2. So essentially the pattern is going up by 2. So from 1 to 3 is 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. And if I go back and say, well, what number... Uh, if I add 2 gets me to 1, it's negative 1, or I could go back from 2. What I then want to do is to draw those point, put those points in. At negative 2, I'm going to negative 1. Remember, it's x, then y. Negative 1, 1. 0, 3, 1, 5, and 2, 7. Then what I'm going to do is draw it. So it's a line, like so, and I'm just going to draw my line just like that, okay? So that is y equals 2x plus 3, y equals 2x plus 3. Right, question 3, which of the following lines is parallel to the x-axis? If I just do a quick example of that, and if I draw, well, in fact, I'm just going to get my ruler. That is parallel to the x-axis. And here I can see that my ruler is going through where y equals 2. If I move it up, I can see it's going through where y equals 4. If I move it down, I can see it's going through where y equals negative 2. So the answer to this question is anything that is y equals so in this case, I've got y equals 7. That's there. That's parallel to the x-axis. 7x plus 2 certainly isn't. So that's uh, y equals 7x isn't. And x equals 7 is actually where the, uh, the line is going um, parallel to the y-axis. So the next question is this. Um, Write the equation of a line that is parallel to the y-axis. Well, it's x equals anything you like, and I think I'll choose, choose x equals 3.